Now, seal on health matters, the coordinating minister of health and social welfare, Professor Muhammad Ali Pate, has lauded the, the achievements of the current administration in advancing the health sector particularly since May 2023. He made this remark at the ministerial press briefing held in Abuja. Professor Pate emphasized the key role of primary health care in ensuring the well-being of the citizens, stating that the federal government will be releasing 50 billion naira as the first tranche of the basic health care fund, a significant increase from 25 billion naira allocated in 2022. He also said that these infusion of funds will breathe new life into the primary health care facilities, ensuring the quality care is accessible to all citizens. With regards to the basic health care provision fund, we've strengthened the fiduciary system so that the resources that will channel to the primary health care centers will indeed reach the primary health care centers and serve Nigerians. And we've had discussions with the Governor's Forum, with the National Economic Council, and with the president's direction, we are tightening up the fiduciary system so that when we disperse 50 billion by the end of this first quarter of 2024 to the primary health care centers through the MPHCDA gateway or the NHIA gateway, the resources will indeed reach Nigerians and will be subject to social accountability measures so that we see the impact of those resources that are coming from the federal government's portion of the, uh, of, of, of the federation account. That's the 1% uh, CRF. In addition, over the last uh, several months, 2,497 doctors, nurses, and midwives have been recruited in our primary health care centers to fill gaps and to help in delivering services. And hundreds of thousands of Nigerians have been enrolled in the health insurance program through the National Health Insurance Scheme and the Vulnerable Groups Fund. We increased the work, the quota for the schools of training of nurses and midwives. We doubled it. And we're working towards increasing that for other health cadres as well, so that we can increase the production of health workforce that we need. We know that in many parts of our country, we're struggling with that. In addition, we spent time to build an, uh, an approach to invest and renew the health infrastructure in our hospitals. Uh, recently, as you are aware, the president approved, in fact, the infrastructural upgrades and equipping of six cancer centers in the six geopolitical zones in collaboration with the NSA. That is in the 2024 appropriation of the federal government. In addition, there are eight diagnostic centers and two oncology centers that the groundbreaking ceremony will be conducted very soon. He also spoke of the measures taken by the federal government to combat the threat of Lassa fever, which has claimed several lives in the country. There are several work streams under that agenda uh, to improve the environment for manufacturing of uh, diagnostics, pharmaceuticals, biologicals, devices, health services, health technology. And we've made impressive progress in that direction because we have at least three entities that are coming in to Nigeria. A Brazilian company committed and has approved $240 million investment in the generic pharmaceutical industry. And we have diagnostic companies that are coming to establish manufacturing plants. We already have one that is established in Lagos, which we launched in December. And in addition, our local manufacturers, our local pharmaceutical manufacturers, we engage with them in Lagos, we engage with them in Kano, and as we speak, the president had directed the attorney general of the federation to develop an executive order on the policy measures to reduce the barriers for them to manufacture, to protect the industry that we have. In November, we launched a task force to start working towards a Lassa fever vaccine development in Nigeria, chaired by the NCDC, uh, the NAFDAQ DG, uh, our development partners, to start conducting studies to understand the epidemiology of Lassa fever because we know there are candidate vaccines so that when the vaccines are developed, they are manufactured in Nigeria, that they are safe and effective and they are deployed in Nigeria. That task force is doing its work uh, currently so that in the future, when we have vaccines, people can take the vaccines against Lassa fever that we don't have to lose people every year, lose health workers unfortunately from this virus. 
Furthermore, the minister said the current government has recruited over 2,497 healthcare professionals to bridge gaps due to attrition, strengthening healthcare delivery across the nation.